In Apollo 17 there are several photos of an astronaut riding the rover. Among them, this one at F-17-147-22524. And this one at F-17-147-22526. Between these two photos, the rover has turned. The position of the sun's reflection on the spherical visor of the astronauts depends on the direction of the sunlight. If this point is to rest it because, between the two photos, the rover has turned, and so the astronaut's visor has also turned relatively to the direction of the sunlight. On the first photo, the sun's reflection appears on the extreme left of the visor. As the visor has turned left between the two photos, the sun's reflection should have moved left on the visor, relatively to us and thus should have disappeared from the visor, as it already was on the extreme left of the visor on the first photo. The fact of moving left should make it leave the visor. Yet you can see that the sun's reflection is at the same place on the visor of the second photo as it was on the first photo. The only possible explanation is that the direction of the sunlight would have changed between the two photos. You can also notice that the direction of the rover's shadow has changed between the two photos. On the second photo it has turned counterclockwise relatively to the first photo. On this animation on which the two photos are alternated the change of direction of the rover's shadow is well visible. This change of direction of the rover's shadow also proves a change of direction of the sunlight. Of course the direction of the sunlight could not change between the two photos, and so the only possible explanation is that the scene is not lit by the sun, but by a spotlight which has been moved between the two photos. Of course it's not only in Apollo 17 that the scene is lit by a mobile spotlight but in all the other missions as well. In Apollo 15 we can make a demonstration by making a panoramic with two photos, a S1582-11056 and a S1582-11057. And by joining the centers of the lens flares on the two photos with lines which must cross on the sun. But you can see that these two lines cross much too high for the sun having caused these lens flares. The only possible explanation is that these lens flares cannot have been caused by the sun, but by a spotlight which has been moved between the two photos.